Hello! We have visiting Warwick Castle today, having a lovely day out. Well, I say lovely, a very, very rainy, wet day out by the looks of it. We've just popped into Starbucks on the way and I've got a lovely little breakfast sandwich and a drink on the way. I thought I'd try the vegetarian sandwich. I think it's vegan actually. It's got a vegan plant-based sausage, cheese. Oh, it does smell good. This is the best start of the day. Okay, <laughs> I'm all prepared. Um, I've borrowed my grandma's wheelchair for this because if you didn't see my last video, I had a big injury to my knee. So I now have two bad knees, but I love, love, love a wonderful day out. I can't resist. And I've had this booked since January, so. I'm here and I can already see a knight on a on a steed so let's turn you around so you can see what I can see and thank you to my mum and dad who are here who can push me around <laughs> wow look you can get your photo taken with them oh what a well-behaved horse we're on the accessibility route and oh my goodness it looks absolutely wonderful doesn't it and then there's a board here with information there's a conservatory tea house i would love to go in there it's open from 11 till 3. there's also lots of other drink and food outlets open today let's go in it looks brilliant We're now in the Great Hall. Look how incredible it is. Oh my goodness, the floor, the ceiling, everything. It is such, well, it is a great, great grand hall, this one. I've got a horse here with its coat of armor. It's not a real horse, obviously, <laughs> but it's coat of armor. And then a knight's coat of armor on top as well. It's just amazing, isn't it? Quite the view, isn't it? It's beautiful. Some people canoeing over there. We're just waiting for the archery show to start. I've got a real good front row view. So my mum and dad have gone and gone <laughs> under the tree with everyone else. But I've got this fantastic big umbrella that's just protecting me completely from all the rain. It's brilliant. Let me turn you around so you can have a little look at the, well, the, what do you call it? The target. <laughs> There's the target over there. I believe that's the archer. It's quite far, isn't it? I cannot believe how rainy it is. Do you know what? That was really, really good. I felt so awful for them. It was started absolutely chucking it down at one point, but they still were absolutely amazing. It was brilliant. Um, they, I, they did have to speed it up a little bit because they felt bad for us being stood there in the pouring rain as well. But no, I'd recommend definitely going to have a peep at that. We're now gonna head and see if we can get good seating for the birds of prey i'm not too sure whereabouts it is so we're gonna head down there now hopefully we'll go past the conservatory which i'm desperate to have a nice cup of tea in at some point a peacock oh i didn't know if we'd see them today or not oh it's just near the ice cream van over there look oh there's some there's another one sat down isn't it beautiful There was also a meet and greet with Zog, which we oh ever so sadly missed. 
<laughs> there's three adults. Uh, <laughs> it's really good for children here though because they have zog shows, they have playgrounds, they have a big maze. So it's very, very family friendly place. That's where Zog would have been. Look, to give him a nice hello. Oh wow, look, we're here at the conservatory tea house. And you can sit outside normally. And I think we'll choose to sit inside when we go in a bit later today. But look how absolutely spectacular and beautiful it is. On one of the topiary birds over there, there's a little robin sat on top singing its head off. Don't know if you can see it. It's so cute. It's gorgeous. Can you imagine sitting out here in the sunshine with a cup of tea and a slice of cake? Oh, perfect. Look how incredible that is. I can see so many wonderful palms in there already. It looks amazing. Wow, look at how many birds of prey they have. They have barn owl, white-tailed eagle, red kite, bearded vulture. They look amazing. I hope we get to see them, even though it's tipping it down. We're just taking a bit of shelter under the trees, but there's a seating area that you can sit in, and then over the water there, it says the Falcon's Quest. Here we are, there's a lovely view. So yes, the Falcon's Quest is just there. The chairs are all up here and then look at this i can't remember what it's called but basically i think it's what launches boulders into enemies castles and then i think this is where they do the war of the roses show that's not on currently i don't believe well that looks so interesting doesn't it oh it's so stunning here i love all of the trees because all of the leaves are turning yellow and red and golden and it's just it's just so pretty that's the tea room over there, the conservatory tea room. The gardens in front of it are the peacock gardens. So lots and lots of peacocks I've noticed around and about. And the flowers as we were walking, so to speak, down through the garden were absolutely gorgeous. I'll have to show you. wish I was sat there. <laughs> Whoa. it goes this bird is so fast wow oh my gosh Oh my goodness, it's like as big as a person. Those birds of prey were just absolutely incredible. They just astonished me how they fly so well. It did stop raining whilst they were flying as well for the whole show, so that was wonderful. We got to have a really good experience. And the people at the front in the seats, they got the birds of prey were just flying right over the top of them. And then they were flying over the top of us as well towards the end. It was amazing. Oh, it was fantastic. I highly, highly recommend that if you're coming here. We're now going to head to the tea room to have a nice cup of tea in the conservatory, if there's space for us, that is. 
Oh, I think everyone's queuing to meet Zog. <laughs> Lots of excited noises behind me. Look at these huge plants. Oh, this is a conservatory and a half. Oh my goodness. So I recently went to Harlaxton Manor and was absolutely in love with the conservatories there. And here, what can I say? I love an amazing conservatory. <laughs> so we went for a cream tea. So a scone with cream and jam and a cup of tea. And my mum went for a coffee. It's Costa coffee in here. Ooh, interesting. These are my loose leaf tea. I went for an Earl Grey because I love Earl Grey. And then, is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. And did warm. you need that, Mum? I did. It's so cold. Oh, it is so cold, isn't it? Because it's so wet. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy a cream tea. We've also got a quiche to share. Here it is. Lovely little quiche there. And then the scones with jam and cream. Oh, Rodders. That's that's the delicious clotted cream. That isn't it. Oh, do you want to cut it in half? So we've got our cheese and onion quiche, we think. <laughs> and yeah, let's just tuck in, have a bit of a feast. Oh, it's lovely that. Ooh, lovely. What tea did you go for? Oh, great. Oh, just perfection, isn't it? And the scones are warm as well. Oh, cannot wait to tuck into this. Oh, you butter in yours. Yes. Butter, <laughs> jam, and then cream. Butter, jam, and cream. I just went jam and cream. I didn't go butter. This is incredible. Oh. So whilst we're enjoying this lovely cream tea and these beautiful surroundings, my dad has gone to the dungeon for a dungeon tour. And it was supposed to be me that was doing it originally, um, so I could take you all down there with me, so I could show you around. However, obviously, with the situation, I'm not able to go up and down in dungeons. So yes, my dad's gone instead. But what's really funny is, my dad got it for me thinking, he, 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 because 30 years ago, when him and my mum came, all they can remember is how scary the dungeons were. And he was like, oh, I'll get this for Rhiannon. Hoo, 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 hoo. And um, yeah, now I've done this. He's lumped into going down there and getting all spookified with all of the horror stories whilst I enjoy a lovely cup of tea and a cream scone. So it's karma. <laughs> Hope is enjoying it. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? This is the Peacock Garden. And look at the beautiful, beautiful flowers, all in bloom. And then just over there is a peacock. There was one in the tree as well. It really took me by surprise. <laughs> Didn't think they'd just sit up in a tree. It's up there, second branch up. I don't know if you can see it, around about there. It's just sat there. Look at the gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. I was saying that the grounds are designed by Capability Brown. Hmm. <laughs> so they have loads, loads more things here that we just haven't seen today due to my leg, but one of the things that looked really fun as we're just heading back to the castle now is a great big maze that they've got it's horrible history themed and i grew up loving horrible histories i knew all of the songs if anyone else loved it I, it's brilliant I, I sometimes still sing the songs now <laughs> i think there's a sword fight going on i think you can have your own little go at archery there's just so much going on it's just brilliant unfortunately it closes soon I'd love to go in a shop though. I love a good souvenir. They have a princess tower. There's so much for the kids, honestly. Yeah, the dungeon, that's, that's not so much for kids. <laughs> Ten and up, apparently. Ten and up. Oh yeah, my dad came back and said he had a really good time. It's really interactive and the were lots of different rooms filled with different actors going through all these different torture techniques and different times like the plague and things like that there's also a playground another eatery and a few little bits a few little shops here and there and probably more but i just haven't had chance to <laughs> really really explore
You can even go up there, look, right at the top and have a little walk around. I might see if my mum and dad want to park me up at this shop over here and then they can have a little wander and investigate. Ooh, they've got loads of dungeon things. <gasps> a sword. Let's have a look at the sword. Mum? Mum? <laughs> you move me close to the sword. <laughs> wow. Shall we all get one and have a sword fight? <laughs> She's only scared because I'll win. Oh, so whilst we're in the shop, my dad walks up here and then walks right up to the top of there. 132 steps. 132 steps. Not as many as Whitby, but still quite a fair few. Are they circular or are they... Circular. Oh, like a spiral. Well, there we go. We're going to head home now. It's been an absolutely fantastic day out. And we don't have any children either. So honestly, like adults, children wherever you are in the stage of life oh i would definitely recommend it 100 percent. it's been fantastic and sorry that i couldn't get around it all and show you every single nook and cranny i hope to come back in the future it's been brilliant thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>